guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jim Rodriguez. Today, I'm back with yet another Love Me Hair review. Boo boo. <laughs> I'm running out of sounds, y'all. We are gonna hop right into this, you guys, because I have a slam day. I have a couple celebrity interviews I have to do, and I'm also packing because I'm headed to the ATL soon. So I need a new look quick, and of course, Love Me Hair is my go-to, right? So today, we're gonna be reviewing this Toffee Brown Mixed Blonde 4x4 Closure lace C part glueless wig. Okay, now this is a limited design that they have, so let's kind of take a look at it and see what she's looking like. But first, you know, I got, you already know what I'm gonna say. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, you guys. It's been a great year so far. We've had so many different hair reviews going on, but subscribe to my channel, hang out with your girl, and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's take a look at her, y'all. Let's see what she's looking like. Super cute. I'm loving the color, that pop of blonde. And the bang looks like it comes in black. I am pretty sure this is the color I have here. Just a nice toffee brown color. Pop of blonde in the bang. This is what it looks like in the sunlight. This is what it looks like indoors. So you definitely might get different results just based on the lighting that you're in. It has a pre-cut sawtooth lace. Really good for beginning. Pre-cut. Say what now? <laughs> They said pre-cut. Okay, hold on, let's take a look at her because I need to see this. Okay, so I was mistaken. You have the option. You have the option with this wig to get pre-cut lace, okay? So as you're shopping, I'll kind of show you. You can kind of go up. Oh, advertisement. You kind of go up, you see the price there, right? All right, so in here, it pretty much asks you what length you want. It asks you pretty much everything you need, but you can also choose if you want pre-cut lace, okay? So pre-cut lace is only $5, but it's only returnable or refundable before a second cut. So just, you know, make sure you ask them or reach out if you have any questions about that. But I thought it was pretty cool that you do have the option you do have the option to receive pre-cut lace. I mean, now let's go ahead and take a look because you know, they didn't give me the option for pre-cut lace, <laughs> which is fine. That's, you know, it's the partnership that we have, but this is the wig itself. So super duper cute, very, very shiny. Loving, loving, loving this color. The length looks really cute. Ooh, I'm feeling real past his wife already, just looking at this wig, okay? But that pop of color and the bang is really, really nice. I'm loving this color just in the indoor lighting. It's just really shiny, it's caramely, it's warm. It's perfect for spring. Love, love, love. So I can't wait to try it and see how it looks on me. So with this, I have the five by five lace, which means I just have lace from temple to temple. This is what the lace is looking like on my hand. Okay, blends in pretty well, but you already know I'm probably gonna Kind of do some pre-coloring and stuff like that. Inside we have two combs on the sides of the wig. We have a comb in the very middle, pretty standard in terms of how it's laid out. There's a comb in the back and there's the two adjustable bands in the back and then there's a non-adjustable band in the middle. So no adjusting with this one, but you already know I love my bands. So I'm actually gonna spray a little shine flash onto the part just to give it a little of a sleek oily look without wetting the wig too much. That'll help me tweeze a little bit better. Like I showed you last time, I'm just kind of pulling the wig taut around the finger and doing some tweezing as close as I can to those black knots. So this is what it's kind of looking like after. Just a little bit more cleaned up, a little more natural in that part section. Not as many black knots. Hopefully you can see a difference. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color the lace just a little bit over that C part and kind of identify where that is. So I'm using the darkest color from my NYX palette and cover over that part. So I am going to just focus over that part and use whatever's left on the outer lace. My goal isn't really to cover the entire lace because I know I'm gonna cut some. I just want to cover where that hairline is and kind of make sure that I can see a color difference between how it normally comes and what I just added. But as you can see, that part looks just a little bit more deepened and more natural for me. All right, let's get this party started. Make sure you stay tuned because I will actually be going outside and I'll show you how the color looks outside as well. That way you can see the indoor lighting version and the outside version. So 
make sure you hang out with your girl. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't know if it's a good idea to try a new wig <laughs> on a day of an interview, but baby, I'm feeling risky. I'm just feeling risky. I feel like, I feel like this is meant to be. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is a 10 inch or an eight inch. It's probably a 10. Let me see. Oh, this is six inches. Ah! Uh! but we got six inches. Okay, so we went short, short with it. Always leave a little bit out just by the ears. All right, the fit feels amazing. This feels really, really good. Let me go ahead and fire up my flat iron because we know right here I'm feeling like, come in, come on. <laughs> All right, you guys, as usual, I've got my got to be glued spray. I love this guy, it's like my go-to. Um, I would say if you are looking for a little bit longer wear, um, spray it underneath, blow dry it and spray it on top. I'm only going to do one set of spraying. And then if I like it, I'll just, you know, uh, go ahead and, and actually get married to it. But right now we're going to go ahead and start dating. You know, we move it from the talk into the dating stage. We're going to do something that's easy to take off <laughs> if I can't rock with it. And it also gives me a hole so that the wig's not like gone with the wig fabulous. Okay. I'm going to Atlanta, but I'm not trying to be gone with the wig fabulous with this. Okay. I need it to stay put. <laughs> Okay. I'm blowing my lashes away. Thank <laughs> 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 you. This ball took me to Chicago, Windy City. too bad not too bad with the install it's looking pretty good i'm just gonna add a few wispies around the face just a couple of the shorter hair so that way it doesn't look like too wiggy on the side again i am a grab and go type of girl so i'm just gonna take my shears just do some very very quick light cutting just to add like some hairline hairs around that face All right, I feel like I'm in a good place to just kind of go through and tighten up the style a little bit. I love the little bang that's going on there. I'm gonna keep that feathered action going, but just kind of silk it out a little bit and make it more me. While my flat iron is warming up, I am gonna actually go back in with a more close to my foundation color and put it over my part. This is Maybelline Super Stay Foundation, full coverage. I just feel like it has a little bit more warmth to it. And as you can see, there's a little demarcation between my skin and where that wig cap is. Now, as you saw, my hair was in a cute curly little do. So I probably could have done without the wig cap, but I just feel like it keeps my hair down and it keeps everything smooth underneath the wig, which is really, really important. So I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna take a nice dense brush. Got this little wax stick here because these flyaways they're out of control these flyaways are out of control all this cutting and whatnot i think it just sent this wig's little panties in a bunch so we're just gonna calm that down let's go bust them on their own Top part, I am actually going to move away from my face. I think I did it last video. Kind of bring the hair up.
Oh, my lanta. Mmm. Mmm. Side angle is cute. Looking feathered. I love this. I love this so much. You guys have to let me know. You have to let me know what you think about this wig. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm feeling. And if there's anything I'm not feeling, we're going to see. I'm feeling the color. Okay, the color for spring. It's really, really cute. It has great dimension. It's not super hot. You know I don't like when it comes to like brown or auburn or red wigs when it's super hot. And that's when the root is about as light or as hot or as warm as the rest of the hair color. I don't like that. For me, that just doesn't really work out very well. You know what I mean? The lace was really easy to use. I love that you have the option for it to come pre-plucked. Like that for me is a game changer. So I may try that sometime and let you guys know exactly how that works and what I think about it. Otherwise, I don't know. This is coming with me to Atlanta, okay? You will see her again. <laughs> So don't forget to check the description box for all the specs on this wig so you can rock this out with me. We can be twinning, okay? If you cop it with me and you're gonna twin with me, make sure you use that discount code GEN20 to save 23% off and you know, save those coins. Cause I hear we got Beyonce tickets and you know, new edition tickets and Janet, we got Drake. I mean, everybody's going to concert now. Everybody's coming outside. So let's save those coins, use my discount code. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the love. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh yes. Yes, I love her.